Hey there. So, uh, again, this is a very similar uh, lab to the previous one where we're setting someone's pa uh, password, except uh, we're not going to use host. We're going to use something called X4. And you know, any header that has X on it is typically an override. So uh, let's get into it. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use um, you can use a web website. What's called webhooks.com, web, web, webhooks.site uh, as your external server or attack server, if you, if you may. So let's go here and um, let's access the site. Let's open new link. Let's close that. Let's close that. Let's go here. Uh, my burp suite is on. Let's just clear everything first. You know, it's nice, ha nice to have everything nice and clean. Clean this, clean that. Let's turn out okay. That's good. History. Let's clear the history. Let's clear this as well. This is our web sockets. And I like to clear the targets as well. Delete all selected items. Okay, so everything is clear. Let's turn on my burp suites, uh, the, the URL, use burp suite for, so now it's turned on, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go here to my account, and we're going to go to my, forgot password, and we're just going to see how it works. So I assume we have access to our wiener account, and uh, let's intercept this. Let's go here, a proxy intercept, and let's intercept this and see what happens. Because we want to know how it works before we do anything. But I'm pretty sure all we're, do all, all we're doing is just altering the header headers to go to our exploit server. So let's uh, let's do that. Oops. Go back here. Submit. It's captured. And oh, it doesn't doesn't really show uh, anything. Let's send this to repeater. And this is the forgot page. So let's just name this forgot. Okay, good. So this is forgot. And uh, we sent it. Let's turn off the intercept. Let's see where it leads us. It says check your email. Okay, let's go to our exploit server. And let's check our email. And here's a link to our email. Uh, it says a click here to reset your password. Okay. We're going to intercept this one as well. Turn on the intercept, and let's check this out. So let's see what happens when you click on this. It's captured, and it says here, so it looks like you need a token again. To uh, So let's, uh, let's send this to repeater. I want to name this the re reset. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's turn off this intercept and see where it leads us. Again, it says this is how you can do password. So um, I assume that you can try changing the host header, but I assume that for this lab is not going to work. So we're going to use the override. Um, let's go back to my account. So before you do anything, um, you know there's a um, so we're, we're trying to do for Carlos. So so we're trying to get access to Carlos's page. But you want to know, in general, you want to know uh, what works and what doesn't work. In, in, like, so in Burp Suites, let's just go back, let's go back to history. And over here, it doesn't matter where you go, uh, you want to know what headers work and what headers not. Like it, says, it doesn't say here that X, header, X uh, forward works. So what you can do is you can go here and you can get this extension called um, Param Miners. And then you can guess parameters and use, I would say guess everything. And so basically, it looks for headers that you're able to use. And I can tell you right now, if you click on this, and you'll find that you're able to find uh, the X forward X forward host header. So that's a al that's allowed. So um, here, so basically, the X see anything that has an X in front is typically an override, and it's for for word. So it's gonna say you're allowed to use this header. This header is uh, enabled. And essentially, it sort of replaces it sort of replaces or overrides this host here. So you don't necessarily have to. So I assume that if you try to change this, it's gonna get you an error. So instead of that, we're gonna change the host here. So it's gonna actually send it here instead. So that's what this does. Um, 
So let's go back here to Burp Suite. We're going to submit this. Submit this. But before we submit it, we're going to intercept it. Proxy, intercept. Turn on the intercepts. And here we go. We're going to submit. And it says, so we're, so we're trying to send this. And it's sending it to here. So I assume that if you try to change this in any way possible, it's going to give us an error. So we can't do that. So instead, we're not going to change the host. We are going to type in x forward dash host. And you can discover you can discover this using param miner, right? Like so, so it basically it, it shows you param miner basically tests out all the headers and seeing which headers you're allowed and which headers you're not allowed. And you'll find that this header is allowed. But I'm not going to do that for you because that's Seems like a bit of a waste of time. And we want to use our server. So our server that we control is a